Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Living in Johnson City, Tennessee. I'm Shad, and along with Stephanie, we're here today to show you all about the Model City. Welcome to Kingsport, Tennessee. First, before we dive into the meat of this video, I'd like to point out a few fun facts about Kingsport. It was one of the first cities, if not the first city in America, to implement innovative planning and civic improvements over 100 years ago. And it was such a successful endeavor that the city officially received the nickname, the Model City. A second interesting fun fact is that back in 1775, Daniel Boone, along with 35 of his strongest axemen, started carving a trail from Kingsport through the forest and mountains of the Cumberland Gap up into Kentucky. This 200 mile long route has since been referred to as the Wilderness Trail. And last cool fact, that same Wilderness Trail actually started at Long Island in Kingsport. This same island would become infamous years later when in the 1920s a concoction was conceived that Long Island, New York would love to take credit for. You guessed it, the Long Island iced tea. The problem is the New York version wasn't invented until the 1970s, so the Kingsport original has them beat by a full 50 years. Forget about it, New York. Now let's take a stroll into the downtown area where the motto is, there is something for everyone in downtown Kingsport. The historic section of town has a unique personality of its own with restaurants, boutiques, hair salons, bakeries, coffee shops, tap rooms and breweries, including the Hook and Ladder Distillery, a family operated business started by a senior captain with the Kingsport Fire Department and a son following a lifetime passion distilling moonshine. If you're in search of something more adventurous, the King Sports Axe House may be what you are looking for. You and your friends can enjoy a Canadian backyard pastime throwing axes. There's also the TNT Sportsplex, a 35,000 square foot facility with four indoor basketball and volleyball courts. Nearby, you will find shooters, a pool hall with 12 pool tables, air hockey, and arcade games, plus the sports mill that features simulators for over 30 different sports, including basketball, baseball, soccer, and golf. Wanting to slow the pace down? In the warmer months, don't miss the Kingsport Farmer's Market, held in a gorgeous brick pavilion where local farmers and artisans sell their products. Just next door is something that big kids and little kids will enjoy, the Kingsport Carousel, located in a temperature-controlled environment. Each animal on the carousel was beautifully carved and painted by local artisans. Even the sweeps of the carousel is adorned with hand-carved animals and, of course, a special animal on the ticket booth, a flying pig. Are you ready for a break? Be sure to stop by the Original Pals, built in 1956. A favorite with locals, the only location that is not a drive through Order a Frenchy fry, sauce burger, and a shake. Kingsport is host to several festivals and special events throughout the year. Two very popular events are Racks by the Tracks, a music festival complete with a barbecue cook-off, craft beer and wine tasting, and a 5 and 10K race. Later in the summer is Fun Fest, nine days of family fun. Locals enjoy concerts, block parties, a street fair, parade, and sports tournaments such as the Crazy Eights Run. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? You may want to start with a leisurely walk or jog on Kingsport's nine and a half mile Greenbelt walking trail or visit where we are standing here today, Warriors Path State Park. Throw a kayak in the water and enjoy a peaceful afternoon on the Patrick Henry Reservoir. Also, a new boundless playground has just been added to Warriors Path State Park where children of all physical and mental abilities can play together. 
Warriors Path State Park is one of the most visited state parks in Tennessee. For more outside adventures, head up to Bays Mountain Park with 39 miles of hiking trails over almost 3,700 acres and over 32 miles of the trails approved for mountain biking too. Up on Bays Mountain, you can enjoy a 44-acre lake, nature center, and animal habitat featuring wolves, bobcats, and reptiles. For a real thrill, sign yourself up or a group of friends or family for a Bays Park Mountain Adventure course with challenging high and low ropes courses and a zip line. A wonderful experience and a challenge for all ages. Along with Bristol and Johnson City, Kingsport is part of the Tri-Cities region. Second only to Johnson City in population, Kingsport's home to around 55,000 people. The top employers are Eastman Chemical, a global giant who's headquartered here, the Ballot Health System with multiple hospitals and clinics throughout the city, and Domtar, a producer of recycled corrugated products for packaging, just to name a few. And when it comes to housing, Kingsport truly has something for everyone. The average sales price currently is around $260,000. And these moderately priced homes can be found all around the city. If you up your price point a bit, you could find yourself in established neighborhoods, such as Ridgefields, where average home prices hover around $400,000 for homes built from the 1950s into the 1990s. Located on the west side of the city, this neighborhood is bordered by the Holston River and Bays Mountain. Ridgefields also includes a private golf course and one of Stephanie's favorite dining options in Kingsport, a restaurant named Fusion. You'll want to check them out. If being closer to downtown is part of your groove, check out Fair Acres, another neighborhood with average home prices around $400,000. Fair Acres is known for its tree-lined streets and charming architecture. If homes built mostly in the 1930s and 40s is your thing, you have to check out Fair Acres. Want to live in a neighborhood outside of the city, but still just minutes away? Check out Edinburgh, just to the southwest of the city. Most homes that were built in the last 10 years and average home prices are 450 to 500,000. This neighborhood offers a community pool, parks, green spaces, and even surrounds one of Kingsport's finest elementary schools, John Adams Elementary. How about living the life of luxury? If this is you, check out Old Island. A neighborhood about four to five miles east of town, Old Island offers luxury homes from 400,000 to well over a million. These homes were built within the past 15 years, can exceed 5,000 square feet in size, and some back up to one of the finest public golf courses in the area, Crockett Ridge. I could go on and on about other wonderful areas to live in and around the city, but let's go ahead and wrap this one up. We sure hope you enjoyed a quick tour of the model city, Kingsport. If you have questions about Kingsport or any of the other fantastic towns in Northeast Tennessee, feel free to give us a call, text, or email us. We specialize in helping people that are wanting to call Northeast Tennessee home. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Living in Johnson City, Tennessee. And remember, it's never too soon to start planning your move. See you in Kingsport.